Well, the U.S. Preventive Task Force now recommends that men do not need blood screening to detect prostate cancer. But some physicians say those tests are crucial for early detection. Becky Parker explains the risks and benefits of routine PSA testing. Over the past few months, doctors at Cuyuna Regional Medical Center have fielded more and more questions about prostate cancer screening. I know it's something that the patients are coming to them with, with questions about. This fall, the U.S. Preventative Task Force recommended that men do not need routine blood tests to screen for prostate cancer, especially older men or those with other health problems. Physicians' responses have been mixed, but adult and pediatric urology provider Dr. Lori Pinky says they strongly support the test. We feel like it does men a tremendous disservice not to do the PSA screenings. I think it's certainly important to screen the right patients, uh, our younger patients, men that have a, a greater than 10 to 15 year life expectancy. The test, called a prostate-specific antigen or PSA test, can detect cancer before symptoms arise. Prostate cancer as it begins initially is completely silent. There are no symptoms or signs that a patient would notice. However, the test can be elevated by factors other than cancer, such as a large prostate, infection, or inflammation. APU recommends that men receive a PSA screening if they have a family history of prostate cancer, are between the ages of 40 and 75, and are in generally good health. However, the task force says that the test is overused. Some are concerned that the widespread use of blood testing leads to unnecessary treatment of non-life-threatening cancers. Researchers are looking for other tests more specifically geared toward prostate cancer. Right now, this is the best we've got, and, and I think it's a mistake uh, to just dismiss it because of the limitations. Ultimately, it's up to the patients to weigh the risks and benefits of routine blood screening. Becky Parker, Lakeland News. Dr. Lori Pinky says so far the announcement does not seem to have an effect on insurance coverage of PSA tests. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.